Lake Champlain, located between northern Vermont and New York, is the sixth largest freshwater lake in the United States, almost like a small inland sea. Almost half a billion years ago, all of this was a sea, the ancient Diapetus Ocean. This ancient ocean, in the landmass which would become North America, was south of the equator, where Africa is today. And along the continental shelf of this great landmass was a reef stretching for a thousand miles, the first complex reef in the history of life on Earth. What does Lake Champlain have to do with the oldest reef in the world? To answer this question, we go to Isle Mont, Vermont. The town of Isle Mont was the site of the first European settlement in Vermont in 1666. Many houses date back to the 1800s. Historic preservation is a strong community value. Thanks to the Preservation Trust of Vermont, the Isle Mott Methodist Church has received a new lease on life. Isle Mott has been able to retain its small town friendliness and rural character. Farming, apple orchards, and tourism have provided an economic base for the island. Throughout the 19th century, six quarries on Isle of Mott produced a famous black and gray limestone. It was used in the building of the Brooklyn Bridge, Radio City Music Hall, and the National Gallery of Art. The stone was loaded onto sailing boats called pin flats and shipped all over the country. Quarry workers may have wondered at the strange forms in the stone, which they cut out of the island bedrock. As early as 1900, scientists had begun to identify these forms as fossils of marine animals of astounding antiquity, almost half a billion years old. It stretches the imagination to learn that 480 million years ago, during what geologists call the Ordovician period, Isle of Mont was a reef in a tropical marine environment that lay beneath a shallow sea. There was no life on dry land, but the ocean teemed with life. Strange creatures with hard calcium exoskeletons had started to build the first great reef in the history of life on Earth. Although the great reef once stretched for a thousand miles along the proto-North American continent, only a few traces of it remain today. The most complete fossil record of this great reef is on Isle of Mott. Scientists have discovered that the bedrock of the entire southern third of the island has tilted to reveal the layers of several million years of evolution of the ancient fossil reef. This enables us to explore these time periods simply by traveling from south to north on Isle of Mott. On the southernmost tip of the island, the oldest layers of the reef began as simple mounds on the ocean floor, consisting of one or two species of twig-like creatures called bryozoa. Later reef layers reveal the earliest fossil record of coral in the world. After that, the dominant reef builders were cabbage-like colonies called stromatoporoids. Finally, in the upper or youngest layers of reef, we find an explosion of biodiversity from mounds rising off the ocean floor made by just a few ancient marine animals the reef suddenly became a complex ecosystem with many different species the youngest reef layers on isle of mott represent the earliest appearance of a complex reef building community it is of critical importance for future generations that these scientific and ecological treasures be preserved. Linda Fitch is the founder of the Isle of Mott Preservation Trust. The Ordovician Reef on Isle of Mott is a scientific resource of extraordinary value. It's a time capsule of the beginnings of reef building. Scientists have studied it for years and have long urged its protection. 
The mission of the Isle of Mont Reef Preservation Trust is to protect as much of this scientific treasure as possible. In 1998, the Preservation Trust of Vermont and the Lake Champlain Land Trust helped us to raise funds to purchase and to protect the old Fisk Quarry. It's now called the Fisk Quarry Preserve and is a nature and geological resource for visitors, including tourists, school children, university students, and scientists. In the quarry walls, you can see the fossils of the stromatoporoids, great cabbage-like animals which were the main builders of this part of the reef. Just a mile or so to the northeast of the Fisk Quarry is the most famous reef site of all. The Goodsell Ridge. Here, in the pastures and woodlands, the rock outcroppings tell their incredible story. Instead of containing only a few species of animals, such as you see in the older reef layers like the Fisk Quarry, the Goodsell Ridge shows that the reef underwent an explosion of biodiversity. From a simple mound, it became a complex community of life forms, like a great undersea city. Scientists from all over the world come to Isla Mott to learn about this unique chapter in the story of life on Earth. The fact that this fossil reef is so well preserved and so accessible makes detailed study and research possible. In 2005, the Isla Mott Preservation Trust, with the help of the Lake Champlain Land Trust, acquired this site and established it as a geologic preserve. In 2006, it was officially opened to the public as the Goodsell Ridge Preserve. Nature trails have been cleared that allow visitors to walk the ancient seabeds. An interpretive ranger program trains students to educate the public and help to maintain both preserves. An old farmhouse on the Goodsell Ridge has been renovated to serve as a visitor center and museum with a video presentation and other educational media for school field trips and facilities to support the work of visiting scientists. The fossil reefs on Isla Mott are a conservation treasure for the state of Vermont, the nation, and for visitors from around the world. These formations are unique and are of great scientific significance. They offer a rare opportunity to study a critical period of our evolutionary history that lasted for millions of years. By better understanding the evolution of life and biodiversity on Earth, we better understand our own place in nature. <laughs>